Okay, so I'm gonna use this video kind of as a diary and see what happens. But yesterday, Jonathan and I were bored, so we decided to go to the Dollar Tree to just see what we can find. Like, at the dirt, everything's a dollar, so. We just went, we were walking around the Dollar Tree, picked up a couple of things, and then, and then I don't know, something, I don't know, I just said, let me just take a pregnancy test. I don't think I'm pregnant, but let me just take one just for fun. Legit, just for fun. And then when I got home, I took it. It was like the middle of the day, so it wasn't even like morning pee. And this is the test from the Dollar Tree. So this is a test from the Dollar Tree, and as you can see, there is two lines, and that means pregnant. But to me, that line looked faint, got this digital test, and I took it, and it actually says pregnant. And this is two to three weeks. So yeah, when I saw that test, I started freaking out. I didn't record, obviously, my reaction because it was just happening so fast and we weren't, I don't know, we weren't expecting it to be positive. So I was just freaking out for the longest time. And I have symptoms to be getting my period, so I didn't want to get to cut it. So I'm gonna go to the doctor today and then figure out if I am or if I'm not. And yeah. That's what's happening. How you feeling? Mm. That's how you're feeling? Yeah. <sighs> I'm nervous. I just made it a cup. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> <sighs> Damn. I like it. Okay, so the last clip you guys just saw was when I confirmed at my doctor's that I was pregnant or that I am pregnant and then so right now I look a mess we we're back in Mississippi and we're putting stuff in storage so I look like a mess because that's what we did today and we already finished or we took the big stuff anyways so what happened after the doctors I went to an actual like woman's clinic and they basically like took me in they took like my blood they took a pregnancy test but they said that it wasn't positive but it wasn't negative and then they did an ultrasound and nothing came up on my ultrasound so and i had the symptoms to be getting my period like i had really 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 bad cramping and so they were kind of worried about it and then they told me that i should prepare for a miscarriage and obviously I freaked out because I didn't expect to come out pregnant and then so I did so I was extremely excited and then to be told that I might have to get ready for a miscarriage was like the worst thing that anybody could ever tell me mm -hmm. so they told me that and they told me to just stay calm if my period came it means the baby coming out and if my period didn't come then I was Still pregnant um, they scheduled me for another appointment two weeks later and so that it was like the worst two weeks ever I cried so much that I was really really emotional I was scared I, I don't know I felt like maybe I was doing something wrong I don't know but it was really hard two weeks 
and I was really really hoping and praying and praying and praying so much that everything would come out good and so when I went to my doctor's appointment again they did an ultrasound and we saw our baby and I was so 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 relieved because we saw the heartbeat and we even heard the heartbeat too and it was really 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 exciting and my eyes are getting watery because it was a really really um a moment of like relief and like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders and I was uh, so 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 excited and happy we got to see our baby and we saw the heartbeat obviously the baby's super super tiny so the first time I went I was around three weeks pregnant which is why they didn't see anything and then when I went again I was five weeks and three days and we got to see our baby I put it in this album this is like those sticky page album so I just put it in here because I don't want anything to happen to it. And so it's super tiny as you can tell. Now, today, I am seven weeks. So I have an appointment at nine weeks when I go back home. So my entire pregnancy, I'm going to be back home, which is kind of exciting because I'll be with friends and family. I have an appointment two weeks from now. And my husband's going to be leaving. So I'm going to go back home and just stay there. I'm kind of waiting to like publicly announce it, even though... All of my family knows and I told my mom not to tell anybody but she's telling my whole family so it's really exciting and I just want to like burst it out and tell everyone but I'm kind of really really cautious because of the beginning it was kind of scary so I'm eh, kind of like cautious about everything but I think as soon as I like see and hear my baby's heartbeat again the next time which is at nine weeks a little after that I'll announce it publicly and I'll upload this video so yeah I don't know I'm just really really excited I just wanted to say like that little story that was really really scary but I'm so glad that God was with us and is with us and is protecting us and our baby and I'm just very very thankful for everything that's going on yeah we are expecting our first baby and we are so 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 excited are you excited <laughs> are you excited yeah what are you excited about? To have a baby. Do you want a girl or a boy? Girl. So yeah, we both want a girl, but I mean, if it's a boy, it's a boy, it's a girl, it's a girl, I don't know. Super duper excited, even though it was super unexpected, it's very welcome. So even though my channel isn't about pregnancy, now it is, or now it will be. 